What's happening team? I hope you guys are having a great day. I wanted to let you guys see what it is that I do for a day job before I hit the road to do gig work in the afternoon. I'm a stone fabricator, so I polish and um, also install and cut countertops for homes and things like that. And this is just sort of a bird's eye view of me polishing a piece, getting it ready to go out to site. So I wanted to show you that and uh, let's get on the road. Okay, we're done at the shop. Now we're getting in the vehicle and we're headed to do a little gig work. Oh yeah. My life got in the way yesterday. I had to take one of my kids to an appointment, doctor's appointment. And now it's Wednesday and we're back in gear and we're gonna do another evening of trying to hit our daily 40. So yeah, this is Mississippi Dash and my name is Nason and we're doing gig work. Okay, so we've got our first order here. It's 1847 for going a little over six miles. It's gonna be a curbside pickup and it's three drop offs. So not a lot of stuff here. One order has 11 items, one has five, and the other one also has five. So I think we'll get this one done pretty quick. And I do believe that there's an incentive today for an extra like 12 bucks, something like that, if we get two orders. So let's get this one done and then try to go back for another. We've got a few minutes here before I gotta show up. So we'll go grab this one, go for a second one. Good start. Okay, so we just parked in our spot right here. We're in spot number one. There's not a lot of people out here. And <laughs> I got swallowed in that. <laughs> They're still packing up the order and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about acceptance rate. Right now, my acceptance rate, I think is around somewhere between 42%, 48%, something like that. The question you might be asking is, does acceptance rate really matter with Walmart Spark? Now, if you're used to doing say DoorDash or any of these other like food delivery apps, uh, acceptance rate absolutely matters. Now with Walmart Spark, it also does matter, but let me tell you what it says on like inside the app. All it really says is that acceptance rate doesn't hinder your ability to receive offers or, you know, and it won't kick you off the platform if you don't accept them. What it quite blatantly does not say though, is that if you do not accept a lot of orders, Walmart, you know, probably will not send you a lot of orders, right? I think acceptance rate really does matter within this app. So one of the things that I try to do is keep at least a decently high acceptance rate. And I, I usually hover around the 40, 50% because every now and again, I get an order that's just like ridiculous. In fact, I got an order when I first got here, it was like $15 for 27 miles. Who the heck lives 27 miles away that they're like not tipping? Ugh, didn't take that one. In my experience with Spark, you wanna keep a very high acceptance rate. And I mean somewhere around like 50 to 55%. And that is kinda of high because some places send you pretty bad orders and some places don't send you a lot of orders at all. Another trick is the market that you live in. You know, when I was working in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, this Walmart got, you know, 20 orders every hour. Like I would have a string of orders. But here in my small town, Mississippi, I only get like one to two orders an hour. So depending on, you know, whether or not you accept, I mean, that's kind of up to you, but I think that in this market, if I don't accept an order within one to three, I'm not going to get any like at all. My tip usually is that I try to accept the one out of the first two to three orders that they send me so that Walmart knows that I'm in, within the algorithm and I start getting orders over and over again. Like today, I accepted the second order that I got. Decent order, three drop-offs. I don't like doing them, but when the mileage is low and the dollar pay is high and there's not a lot of items in the truck, well, yeah, I can handle that. Okay, loaded up and headed to this order. They just barely missed the, uh, the 10, minute marker for those extra earnings so we got all three loaded and i think the first one's a house and uh yeah five items five items 11 items so pretty easy deliveries and uh, i'll accept it you know six miles 18 bucks let's go do it okay small hiccup here so i drove to the address that was listed by the customer and to the first drop off luckily it's the bigger of the two and um it's not the right area in fact it took me almost four and a half miles from uh, the address that the customer left. So I'm gonna have to call customer support and tell them that the address is wrong and they need to change that. But still, luckily, I think that's gonna put it at like, more like 10 miles for this 
this drive, but that's okay. We're gonna get this delivery made and we're gonna make some money and then head back towards the Walmart. Gotta keep a positive attitude because sometimes it's not the customer's fault. Um, the address is correct, but it's a different location. Um, so we're gonna make the most out of it and uh, get this customer her items. Let's go make it happen. Oh, and the customer was really nice. I called her. <laughs> Okay, so we gotta talk about this one. This one kind of turned into a S-H-I-T storm, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, so first, the lady who left the, uh, the first drop-off, I filmed the other two drop-offs, that's what you just saw, and um, I got those done fairly quickly. But that first one, man, I had to drive to a separate location. The lady was easy to talk to, and you know, it just, it made it a lot longer than it should have been. That order took an hour and 10 minutes when it should have taken maybe just an hour. I tell you what, one good thing out of that order, she gave me a $6 tip once I landed at the, uh, at the right address. So that turned that into, let's see, so $18.50, what a $24.50? dollar order so not too bad but we're gonna head back to Walmart right now see if we can get one more order for the evening because I do get a an incentive on top of that if I don't get an order well that's fine we'll just go to the gym or something and then go home but for now I'm headed back to Walmart now and I'm not frustrated I'm just kind of like let's get back so that we can earn some more money so back to Walmart we go and uh, I'll see you in a second Okay, so we did get an order when we got back. Let me tell you something. I missed a $42 order. Apparently, my notifications have been slacking. When it notified me, I was down to like 10 seconds in the app to accept. <laughs> oh, I got the hiccups. Don't know why that happened, but you know, hey, we'll get what we can get. So we'll go grab this second order and then we'll deliver it and we'll check the incentive and see how much we made for the night. Nice. Oh, and I don't remember if I said it. The order's for $14, a little over that, and then it's for like six miles. Okay, loaded that order up. Everything's back here, super simple. Let's get this one delivered and then we'll talk numbers to see where we ended for the night, nice. Okay team, so we finished that final order and so that made two for the afternoon and we finished at just over $50 for the evening with the incentive of an extra 12 bucks. So both of those orders turned out pretty great. The first order ended up being about $24 because I got a $6 cash tip. And then the second order with the incentive on top was, uh, let's see, 14, $26. So we ended up averaging about I mean, to be honest, because it was more like two and a half hours tonight, we'll say mm, $25, nah, $24.50 an hour, which is pretty great. Great night, really excited about that. We're gonna get out tomorrow night again, and uh, then Friday, I've gotta do something with family. So try to put out another video tomorrow. Until then, great night. We'll go for another 40 tomorrow, and I'll see you in the next one. Shoo.